Love you. Oh, hey guys, I didn't see you there. All right, so you've heard of scuba diving, you've heard of free diving, probably a lot of you have done both. Today I'm gonna answer your question, which one is better, scuba diving or free diving? Stay tuned all the way to the end of the video to get the answer. So my scuba diving journey kicked back all the way when I was 12 years old growing up here in Denver. My parents, bless them, they got me my scuba certification for my 12th birthday and I learned how to dive in a gross, muddy gravel pit behind a Walmart. Spectacular. The highlight was, of course, the crawdads. Skip forward to college when I did a bunch of classes at CU Boulder, and then I went and studied abroad in Australia, and that's where I got my dive masters, and I did a ton of scuba diving. I also did a fair amount of free diving there, although I called it snorkeling at the time, but that's when I started to do both quite extensively. It wasn't until last year that I did my first free diving class where I actually learned about the physics, about the physiology, and it was pretty neat. Pretty, pretty, pretty neat, pretty neat. I did my free diving class because I was about to go to swim with whales in Tonga, and I wanted to make sure I had some of the safety principles down, and hopefully I could stay a little bit longer underwater with them big old cuddly critters. The first consideration for whether scuba diving or free diving is better is time underwater. Now scuba definitely has the edge on this one. You can stay under a lot longer on a scuba tank than you can on a single breath. However, on a single breath, it can be glorious and that time you're underwater can seem like a lot longer than it actually is. Some free divers can hold their breath up to 10 minutes, which is kind of cray cray, but if you do a free diving class, instantly you'll be able to hold your breath for two, three minutes. My record is more like one minute on a good day. Static apnea, which is when you're holding your breath on land, I can get away with maybe three or four minutes, but underwater when you're kicking is a whole different story, especially when you're going down to photograph a beautiful whale or maybe a nice pot of dolphins. Oh, maybe you're going down with a bait ball and a bunch of marlin chasing after it. When your heart's beating like that and your blood's pumping, it's much harder to get a long free dive, but it's always super worth it. The next thing we're gonna talk about is animal interactions. Both on free diving and on scuba, you can get some incredible animal interactions. Which one's better? Well, it depends on what you're doing. All of the bubbles that you're creating when you're scuba diving are super loud and probably pretty scary for fishies, for seals, for whatever you're gonna be seeing down there. Whereas if you're holding your breath, you're silent, you're deadly, you're coming to mingle and meet some singles. Well, maybe not some singles, maybe it'll be doubles, triples, maybe a whole pod. Who knows, the world is your oyster. Another consideration with animal interactions is how long it takes you to actually get in the water so you can see the animals. With a lot of the bigger animals, you kind of have to free dive because they're moving fast, they're traveling, they're not gonna stick around for you to put on your scuba gear, mess with your mask, pump some air in there, make sure you got your weight belt, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So you need to be a free diver. You need to be able to throw on that mask, jump in the water, and swim blissfully with the ocean critters. However, on scuba, of course, you have a lot longer. So if you are with animals that aren't intimidated and scared by you, then scuba diving is probably better. However, just for a pure experience, free diving takes the cake. Another consideration is underwater photography. Is it better to be on scuba or on free diving for underwater photography? Both, again, have their pros and their cons. If you're shooting macro and you really need to take the time, set up your tripod, make sure your lights are on point, then you're probably gonna wanna be on scuba diving. However, if you're shooting big animals, which is what I usually like to photograph, free diving is often the better option because you can get in, find them, get your shot, get out, bada bing, bada boom, you know what I'm saying? Also with freedom of movement underwater, you got a lot more of it when you're free diving. When you're scuba diving, you're kind of cumbersome. You might be wearing 30, 50 pounds of gear even if you're diving in cold water. Whereas with free diving, it's just you, maybe an exposure suit, some fins. You can go every which way, up, down, inside, outside, come around, who's that? Brown! Excuse me. One other consideration, an important one, is cost. Both of these hobbies come with their expenses. There's the courses, the equipment, the travel, etc. But scuba gear is a lot more expensive than freediving gear. With scuba gear, you gotta get your dive computer, you gotta get your BCD, your fins, you gotta get your regulators. All these different things really add up quick. Whereas with freediving, you still gotta buy some stuff, fins, mask, snorkel, wetsuit, maybe a weight belt, but it's a lot less. It's also a lot less to travel with, which is huge. Anybody who's a diver knows that traveling with all your gear is a biatch. So that's another consideration. It's a lot easier to travel with your freediving gear than your scuba gear. Keep that in mind. 
The only pain in the ass traveling with free diving gear is the long fins. They're a pain. It's a lot better to not have long fins for traveling, but a lot better to have the long fins when you're actually free diving. So a lot of manufacturers like Cressy, my friends, they have free diving blades that come off of the boot, making it a lot easier to travel with them. Pro tip. Whether you're scuba diving or free diving, it's super important that you remember to respect the ocean. The ocean gives us all we have, our oxygen, our fish food, so many good things. It's really important to respect the ocean, whether you're scuba diving or free diving. So make sure that you're always diving with a reputable dive instructor, dive master, or trip leader. Make sure that you're abiding by the local guides, park rules, whatever, and respect the wildlife. Don't try to scare it. Don't even scare it at all by accident or on purpose. And just try to have a nice, peaceful interaction with the wildlife and show a lot of Respect. With free diving and scuba diving, as long as you're following the local rules and you're diving with a respectable guide, a lot of places this is actually has some benefits to the conservation of the area. A lot of the marine parks have fees that go to preserving the park and you're giving back to the local economy as well. So don't think of it as a bad thing that you're there, that you're exploring. Just make sure you do it in a respectable fashion and don't fuck around. All right, well, those are some of my considerations for whether free diving or scuba diving is the better option. The answer though, you're not gonna love it because it's kind of a draw. I love doing both of them. And I think that anybody who really wants to explore the oceans, explore underwater, should really do both. There's better opportunities for free diving. There's better opportunities for scuba diving. And if you know how to do both of them and you can choose which one to do based on the situation, you're gonna be able to explore more, see more, get better shots underwater, etc. Earlier in my life, I was much more into scuba diving. Recently, I'm much more into free diving. So I guess if I had to choose right now, at this very second, I would say free diving. Don't hate me, don't hate me. I know, I know. Scuba diving is great too, but since I've been photographing a lot of big animals lately, for me, free diving is the bomb.com. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you agree. Do you prefer scuba diving or free diving? Do you do both of them? Make sure you like and subscribe. It really helps a lot. And I'll see you underwater. Peace.